Hey everyone, this is Tankenstein coming to you live and direct from Middle of Nowhere, the center of everywhere to bring to you today your complete overview for the Object 279's armor and how to destroy it if you're fighting it and how to stay alive if you're using it. I've been over, going over quite a bit in this video, including uh, what sort of ammo works best against it, where to shoot it, what the weak points are, the tactics to use against it if you're fighting it, and the tactics to use while you're using it, if again, you have it. And also again, really just what to point out, what to look for with this, this wonderful beast of a UFO tank and what makes it unique. So just be sure to watch the whole video as I've got tons of information in it. Remember, please like, comment, subscribe, but without further ado, let's jump into this. So as you can see here, the Object 279 is a tank that looks unlike anything else in the game this is a wonderful addition of the game in my opinion and really just shows off exactly what would have happened what the world may have seen if nuclear warfare became a reality thankfully it didn't but this tank was designed with nuclear warfare in mind and that's what these side skirts actually were designed to do they were designed to help uh, prevent the tank from flipping that being said uh, let's just kind of get into exactly what this tank represents, and that is armor. And I'll mention this several times in the video, but I deem this tank to be the absolute king of conventional armor, being that it doesn't have fancy uh, armor tiles that can break away like more modern tanks or even the M60 Rise. Uh, this is just the king of armor because it has just thick armor that's shaped to deflect all ammunition so let's just start by looking at the again the armor tab here and one very unique thing about this is that you will not see uh like the uh, t3485 for example where it says 90 millimeters of thickness and then effective thickness at the impact angle you do not see that with this rather you just see that it says variable thickness armor so the armor at any point around this tank at least insofar as its main uh, cocoon the the hull as it were and the turret, turret are concerned it's all variable thickness so it's incredibly difficult and you need to understand this to get any consistent shots off on this tank unless of course the tank that you are fighting is disabled and it's unable to move if this tank is able to move at all, you will not get the same shot off twice against it. Unlike, for example, the the uh, Ferdinand battle, the uh, the tank destroyer here. Here, as you can see, it's got 100 millimeters. It's got a weak side part where most people just shoot through to destroy the ammunition that lies somewhat close behind it, or just set it on fire. There's just tons of weak points there, but in the in the Object 279 here, it's just variable thickness, and again, you will not know where to shoot all the time. So that being said, it, again, it's just really ridiculous how the whole armor is, and I'll show you a little bit more in a second. It says 250 millimeters on turret armor in the front, 120 hull in the, in the front, where uh, you also have 80 hull in the sides, five in the back, and also 30-30 for the turret in the sides and the rear. Now, I don't think that's incredibly accurate. It doesn't really do this thing justice because it is far thicker at any given point. As you can see here, you're cracking over a thousand millimeters. I've seen upwards of 2000. Uh, as you can see, I got pretty close around 1800 without even looking too far. So this is an incredibly heavily armored tank and it defeats regular munitions uh, from really the 50s and prior easily with extreme ease so let's just kind of get into that right now and i'll show you the weak points just some of the general weak points that you're going to want to look for and mainly you'll see this one this is kind of a, an escape hatch for the driver it's not all that good of a weak point i mean it's incredibly weak and if you shoot through it you will probably do some damage but more likely than not unless you get a fairly lucky shot if uh you know, once it goes in there, uh, you're only going to kill the driver because the gun breach on this is insanely massive and will block tons of shots, uh, even if you make it into the turret itself. Even though this is an incredibly cramped turret, you'd have more luck destroying the tank through blowing up the ammo than just simply penetrating the turret and hoping that the explosion kills the rest of the crew because 
this cannon breach will protect anyone who's not on the side of the explosion, uh, including the driver. It does actually help protect the driver a little bit. Uh, but that being said, again, uh, this is a fairly decent weak point, but it's tough to hit. Another really decent uh, weak point, and it doesn't really show well right here, is obviously going to be the gun port. If you manage to get yourself a decent shot there, it's a relatively small area, but if you can manage to get yourself a shot there, 100 millimeters of armor might sound thick, but when you're coming up to uh, BR 8.3, there are plenty of things that can shoot through it and shoot through it accurately. Another really good spot to shoot, and it does not show accurately here, uh, just because it's not the protection analysis, is right between the hole and the uh, the the hole and the turret. It's just a weak spot, and if you can manage to shoot somehow through it, you can actually do quite a bit of damage. As anyone who's fought a King Tiger knows, that's one of the best spots to shoot that tank, as it is here as well. You can also shoot the various hatches and cupolas up here uh, and those will more likely than not just kind of absorb the round send it into here you might kill or to, or really hurt a crew member and then from there I've seen it before and I'll show you in a moment where the round just kind of gets guided into the tank and just destroys the the engine which would give you a huge advantage from there on out and finally just from looking at this screen you might think that this is a great spot to shoot it's not it's full of fuel you could damage it in that way and you could destroy the treads you can destroy the tracks i mean to say and set the tank on fire but that's not going to give you a kill shot more likely than not and even though this looks like a lot of armor uh, really, this is one of the best spots to shoot if you have over uh, consistently over 200 millimeters of armor pen. This is a great spot to shoot, and I'll show you uh, right now. So I'll just show you right away with the Object 279 ammo. This is uh, armor-piercing uh, capped ballistic capped shell ammo, or APCBC, and it does have 177 grams of TNT equivalent explosive filler. So I'll just show you the, the spots that I had mentioned initially. One of the best spots to shoot is here. It's a small shot, but more likely than not, uh, you don't really do a ton of damage in terms of the interior, and there's a good chance that the only person that you will kill is the driver. So you can damage the other members of the crew and also destroy ammo there, but it's not a given. Uh, this looks like it'll be a shot, but rather it'll ricochet and just do barrel damage or destroy uh, part of the part of the um, the cannon breach. And again, these look like, at least from the protection analysis standpoint, that these are great shots, but rather they will just go destroy the barrel and maybe destroy a crew member. Uh, as I mentioned before, between the hull and the turret, you will want to shoot there. That's a fairly good shot. If you're good enough, you might be able to do it. But as you could see, with the uh, with the cannon breach here, it's just ridiculously thick and will protect some of the crew. Uh, but if you do destroy, I believe this is a uh, yes, it's a four member crew. You will um, unless you destroy at least three of them, uh, and you do not have the crew replenishment. Uh, feature on the tank then you um, you know you might have a chance to destroy it another spot that you could shoot is through here through the uh, through the port for the machine gun uh, the main issue with that though again is the cannon barrel and it's just really difficult uh, the cannon breach it's just really difficult to kind of make up for that as that will shield an entire half of the tank Additionally, as I said here, do not shoot the side skirts as it will just go in and make you look like a fool. Uh, this just does not do anything at all. Um, it just disperses the round all the time. But if you do shoot here, it should go in and just wipe out the crew um, and, or just destroy the ammo and then wipe out the crew. You could shoot the back of the turret so long as you're kind of hitting around a 90 degree angle, but if you've got to go far off from that, as you can see here, it just loses penetration real quick. You could also shoot the back of the tank, although I do not recommend that unless for whatever reason you're trying not to get the kill, but rather an assist. Maybe it's an event uh, going on and you just need assist. 
you could do that. Uh, but I would definitely just shoot into the back of the turret if you do have that advantage. One final kill shot, and again, I mentioned you could shoot through here, and that might do some damage to the uh, just to the parts of the tank. One other kill shot, if you do manage to get a, some sort of a crazy uh, angle on it, is to shoot underneath here. And as you can see, especially with a large enough round, if you kind of hit this just well enough, there is a chance that you can actually break into the bottom of the tank and destroy it from the inside. And, and that's, in my, uh, in my experience, that kills the majority of the crew uh, with the most consistency. One final thing to note here is that you can, again, shoot at the top here. And I'll just kind of show you what I mean. It does kind of go through this strip. And it can, depending on the shot, get angled down either further into the tank or into the engine compartment but this is a good strip of shot to uh, a good place to shoot if that might be the only one that you have access to shooting uh, definitely a good spot so i'll show you some of the other stuff um, some of the other ammunition choices that are really good against this or mediocre uh, in my experience you want to use the uh, traditional uh, APC BC ammo just for a kill shot this will most consistently destroy uh, the most crew members or blow up the ammunition against this tank however it will not most consistently penetrate that tank and I'll go into the American tech tree to show you that so to start the probably one of the most basic ammo choices is the heat round I'd say heat FS is a little bit better but heat rounds are actually surprisingly good against this and we'll just go straight through the uh, front of the tank not necessarily through the uh, every angle being that this is a very highly angled tank but you should have some consistency even shooting through the side skirt you might be able to destroy uh, some ammunition and then blow up the tank through that heat round or he rounds are not going to do anything against this uh, theoretically you could shoot through the hatch or you could damage the hatch and and kind of do that but it's not going to do much aside from kill the driver uh any sort of missile will destroy this tank again this is a very conventional or unconventional conventional armor tank uh so they were not just designed to deflect many missiles so take it as you will but missiles will annihilate this and being that missiles are getting prevalent beyond 8.0 br uh, that is something that you should have no fear of destroying the Object 279 with. If you are in the Object 279, you don't have to live in fear of missiles, being that they're not everywhere, uh, but you know, definitely be on the lookout for them. And finally, when it comes to just kind of the other types of ammo that are most effective, APDS is not really all that good. Um, as I'm sure you're well aware, it's just kind of an outdated shell. Uh, an outdated round type, and it's kind of the predecessor to the much better uh, APDF SDS ammo, which is significantly better against this. But you can still make shell or you can still make hits against this tank, it's just not going to be incredible. And you're going to have to hit those weak points that I mentioned before. You're not going to have really any different success against this as you might have with an explosive filled. Uh, armor piercing capped ammunition so hash rounds are usable against this i would just use them at your own discretion they can be effective against the crazy angles of this tank but it's not something that you're going to want to use all the time again it's at your discretion heat fs is where you start getting much more consistent penetration it's not always going to go through but if you get a pretty clean shot on it it should go through for the most part uh, or just damage internals, damage externals. Uh, it can go through this, for example. It's not a guarantee, but if you do go through the side skirt, you may destroy uh, ammunition, which would then light up the tank. The only issue with these is that typically they will not destroy the inside of the tank quite like the armor piercing cat explosive shells, but you can still use them. And finally, for the main type of shell that's not a... Uh, a missile that would destroy this I would say most consistently destroy it although not completely in one shot is the APDF SDS round uh, if you have this it's pretty much a magic key to destroying the internals of this tank 
Uh, I would use it pretty much every time just to clobber this thing if you have the options. But again, just for the knockout blow, I would almost always go uh, for the old school APCBC ammo because if you can, especially if you're in the object two seven nine, if you shoot into this thing with that type of ammo, more likely than not, you will destroy, if not the entirety of the crew, uh, the ammunition, or the majority of the crew, or destroy a lot of the internals and just make this thing totally useless. So just to kind of go over some real basic tactics with it, uh, you're going to want to use against this, uh, you're going to want to use kind of the low ground, and I'll show you why right here. It's because it has not really good vertical guidance, uh, at least uh, depression when it comes to the gun. So if you're at the base of a steep hill, you will want to look for that shot underneath, and it is possible where you can shoot through it and destroy the inside of the tank through an underbody shot. Unlikely, but it is possible. Uh, and you will also stay out of the out of the sight of its gun. Additionally, if you have a fast tank, I would seek to destroy either the tracks or the gun. The gun is a very uh, important thing to destroy. It gets destroyed quite often. As you saw earlier in my protection analysis here, it'll show a penetration shot here. But what that simply means is that it just ricochets up and just destroys the gun outright. So that will happen quite a bit with this tank because of the angled armor. Uh, or if, again, if you do have a fast tank, destroy the treads. Those are fairly easy to destroy. Really, if you just shoot into the middle here a lot of the time, it will destroy the treads uh, and also possibly set the tank on fire. And from there, you can take advantage of its really slow turret traverse rate, which is typically under 15 degrees per second, and just kind of destroy it from the side or the rear. Or um, if you decide to leave these on, it does still have a really poor tank or a track traverse rate. Either way, uh, you know, tell me what you guys think. I think I put every ounce of information that I have on this tank into this video. Uh, use it at your will to either destroy this tank or stay alive more often while using it. Uh, again, please like, comment, subscribe, especially if you got a lot of knowledge out of this. It really means so much to me, especially subscriptions. But again, either way, thanks so much, guys, for watching my video. Uh, you know, I want to see you guys watching more of my videos. And that being said, not saying goodnight, just saying. Take care, everyone, and I hope you guys enjoy your day, your night, or whatever it is you're doing. Take care, everyone.